Hey guys, this is how you're going to do a, a basic triangle. You're just going to have a, the basic blocks for the movement. I'm not going to get overly detailed right here, but just a few things um, you know that you should know in case you haven't done this a million times. So Ray's going to come into my guard right here. It doesn't matter how you set this up. I mean, you guys will see uh, later on that we're going to do a ton of different triangles. You can either go through the arm this way with your leg, or if I have uh, wrist control here, I can just you know push his arm through right here. Um, it doesn't matter how you get up there. Uh, what I want to make sure I do is I get uh, you know my leg over his shoulder, and as I do, one of the key points to a, to a, you know any triangle is bringing your hips off the mat. If Ray postures up here and I go for a triangle, I'm not going to get it. So I have to make sure that I'm really high and I'm actually going to be pulling him back down, and you know back down into my guard. Now again with the basics. No matter what you're doing on every triangle, you want to make sure that you're grabbing your ankle, and that's the ankle that's over uh, Ray's shoulder. I'm going to grab that ankle, and I'm going to pull it as tight to my body as I can, and the hand that's grabbing that same elbow is going to be pinching toward my uh, hip. So I'm pulling down tight. Now, before I lock it up, I see a lot of people lock it up here, and then they have, uh, you have the shoulder. Uh, you might still choke them out, but it's going to be a lot more difficult. So I'm going to get this really tight, the leg over Ray's shoulder, and now I want to turn my uh, hip. So I'm going to scoop my hip out, and as I do that, simultaneously I'm going to lock, I'm going to figure for my legs. Now another thing is, you know, most people will sit here and just kind of squeeze and pull down, which you might, you know, you might finish Ray that way, but I want both of my feet pointing the same direction because this squeezing motion is the motion that's going to choke him out, and ideally. I want to be as perpendicular to Ray as possible. And now, see, both of my toes are pointing up, which is called dorsiflexion, and my feet are pointing the same way. Now, from here, I can either grab his arm or under his leg, and I'm just going to squeeze. That taps Ray out. So, key points to this, we're just getting our leg up and over. Our hips are high, right? As I'm pulling him down, I grab my ankle. I have to rotate, I don't want to be in front of him, so I can either just scoop my hip out or underhook his leg, grab his arm, whatever I need to do to turn more perpendicular. As I lock it up, my shin is completely over his shoulders. It's like parallel. I don't have his back. Now as I lock it up, I point my feet to the same direction and I'm squeezing down. And that's how, uh, I, and those are the, those are the basic points so I keep trying, or, Key points to a basic triangle, and um, you know, there's uh, there's a lot more details, but we'll get to that uh, later on in the series.